Love is a funny thing. They say the heart wants what the heart wants, but I think it should be the limbic system wants what the limbic system wants. Finally, someone's making sense. Well, not to brag, but when it comes to unrequited love, I'm kind of an expert. Well, when I talk to Paige, all she does is drive me crazy. There's a thin line between affection and aggravation. The Roman poet Catullus said, I hate and I love, and I know not why. I'm not sure what to make of that. Perhaps it'd be more useful in Latin. Oh, detamo. I just want to know if I have a crush. Well, does your heart rate elevate when you're in her presence? I suppose. Does your stomach flutter? Yes. Sounds like your limbic system might be doing its thing. Oh, dear. Hey. Hey. It's a lot of fabric. Oh, it's not just fabric. I also got pattern books and an accessory kit. Can I ask how much that all costs? Well, it's hard to say because in the long run, I'm going to save us money. <laughs> well, what did it cost in the short run? I don't know, a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars? What is wrong with you? Why would you say that? That is a good question. I mean, what is wrong with you? Why is it okay when you say it? Because clearly there's something wrong with you. So you think it's fine that she spent a hundred dollars on thread? I think it's fine that she has something that makes her happy. What are you looking for? Anybody but you. Look, I get it. One time, Darlene got all into scrapbooking. Overnight, our den became her scrapbooking room. What'd you do? I said, whatever makes you happy, dear, and made love to her in the scrapbooking room. <laughs> Maybe if you had three kids, you'd worry more about money. Oh, we can't wait to have babies. I just love the way the little heads smell. Does anybody in here want to be my friend? Anybody? Look, Sheldon, you're not going to convince me to come here. You're wasting your time. I'm afraid we have a bigger problem. What are you talking about? I'm a scientist, and I have to follow the data wherever it leads, whether I like it or not. Get to the point. It seems I have a crush on you. What? I'm as surprised as you are, but I have all the symptoms according to both Dr. Sturgis and the editors of Sassy Magazine. Sheldon, I'm really glad that you told me this, because the truth is I feel the same way about you. You do? I mean, I've been trying to hide it, but now I don't have to anymore. This is such a relief. Oh dear, this is new information. I've been operating under the assumption that my crush was unrequited. Oh, it's requited, Sheldon. It's very requited. Hmm. What are you doing? We have a crush on each other. So, now we have to kiss. We do? I mean, it's where the data has led us. I suppose. Now, close your eyes and pucker up. This might tickle. What's happening? Are we kissing? You bet. How was that? I didn't feel anything romantic. Hmm. Me either. Guess it wasn't a crush after all. I guess not. That's a relief. It is. I went to three classes before I figured it out. Good thing I look spiffy in a mustache. Right.